Hello everybody, Winter here, and we are playing a new... This is so loud. We are playing a new Doctor Who game. That's right, this is episode one of a series of games that you can find on the BBC website called Doctor Who the City of the Darlings. So, I've created, um, got my player there. Um, I just, I made the graphics nicer because they were set like really medium. So, play episode one to the dollars. So, let's get started. This is going to take the place of Terrarian Sundays. Super excited. Everyone's been like, say, we, we need more Doctor Who, and I could not agree more. And unfortunately, the Doctor Who uh, client mod for Minecraft is not done yet. And I'm fiending, so I figured I could just get one of these. They have like four more. I think there's five episodes out there so far, but I just bought one because I figured, you know, just get them as we go. So it looks like this is Matt Smith, so it is the 11th Doctor. And I saw Amy too. Amy Pond. Loading. Lots of loading. We like the loading screen. Oh, yeah. 1963. Such a good year. That's uh, the year you bought that outfit then. You know, we can go <laughs> see the Beatles play in 1963, but the Ice Age is only a click away on the dial. Can I meet John Lennon? What? Not Ringo? Why doesn't anybody ever want to meet Ringo? There's Ringo. no such thing as a sexy drummer. Uh, you know, I never considered that. Then again, why would I? 1963. The Beatles' first two albums. Sean Connery as James Bond, The Kings, The Rolling Stones, Mary Quant, John Steed and Kathy Gale. All right now, out there, London is the coolest place, not just on Earth, but the whole galaxy. Oh, the animation is terrible. Compared to the eternity clock. Oh my god, no. his neck. Impossible. Did you get this wrong? Maybe this is like 2963 or something. There's no mistake, this is 1963. But how? What or, or who could have done this? Something with the power to alter time. On a massive scale. Doctor, look. Human halt! Get down. The last survivor of Earth will be exterminated! Exterminate! <laughs> Yay! Oh, look, it's cool. It's like a TV show. This is cool. So we're getting our Doctor Who fix. Matt Smith. It's like a TV show. <laughs> Love it. Oh, I missed Doctor Who. Where's my Doctor Who? Okay, so. Exterminate! We've got oh, to talk to her. Up rather easily. Wait. Wow. Now we've got to talk to her. Come on. The animation sucks. Okay, look and move. Move the mouse to look around the environment. Press the right mouse button to move forward, or you can use the cursor to move. Okay. Okay, so I can do that. What does that do? Can I talk to her? That woman escaped down a manhole. We need to find her. Okay. Okay, I got it. Um, when you get close to something of interest, it will glow. An icon will then appear indicating what you can do. You click the left mouse button to interact, which I figured out instinctively. Okay. Where'd the manhole go? What is this? Okay, I can't do anything over here. Hints, if you get stuck, don't worry, press escape to see what you need to do next. Talk to Amy, who may be able to help. She may have several hints, so do try talking to her again. Don't forget other characters and even objects can provide useful information. 
Perhaps we can smash the barrier and get to the underground. What barrier? Ooh. You found a fact. The Red Double Decker bus is an iconic symbol of London. The first London bus started carrying passengers in 1829 and was pulled by three horses. Buses with motors didn't arrive till 1902. There are now over 8,000 buses picking up passengers from 19,000 stops. Each year, buses carry over 1.8 billion passengers. The 10th doctor took a London bus all the way to the desert planet San Helios and the Easter special planet of the dead. So we found a fun fact. Oh, there's a... Oh. You found a fact! World fact! Hackney carriage. Hackney carriages are the licensed public taxi cabs of London. The very first carriages started operating in London in 1621. The original horse-drawn hackney carriage was replaced by a smaller and lighter carriage called a cab... Cabriolet? Or cab? As we call it today. All London cab drivers must take a special test before they can drive a black cab. This test, called the knowledge, means that they have to learn all the major routes across London. Sat nav is not allowed. Wow! That is super cool! We're learning all sorts of stuff today, kids. What's this? Collectible! Yay! Okay, we got a collectible. We found a card. Sisters of the Water. When seen through a perception filter, the Sisters of the Water may look beautiful, but in reality, they are vampire-like fish aliens. <laughs> the Doctor, Amy, and Rory encountered them in Venice. Okay, so... Ooh, there's something over there. found a card. It's a Smiler. The Smilers are androids mount mounted in booths all across the space-faring version of Britain that left Earth in, six in the 29th century. Their heads can rotate to show three faces. Happy, warning, or very dangerous indeed. Okay. So how do we... How do we go around? I'm not seeing anything over here. So it looks like we're going to learn a bunch of fun facts about London. Amy. Perhaps that taxi could smash through the barrier. Okay, maybe. Can we drive for it? Um. How do we use it then? Oh, that taxi. There's another taxi over here. I don't like the way this telex text is mail. It's one wrong move and it can come crashing into us. Okay. So if we push it this way. Or not. I don't know how to game. Stop! Look out for that Dalek! Maybe we can avoid it if we're careful. Okay. You will automatically crouch down when enemies are near. Warning icons will show you whether it's safe or if the enemy has detected you. Avoid colored enemy beams or you'll be attacked if you're detected from hide. If we stay out of the green, we're fine. Let's go. Doesn't matter if they could possibly see us as long as we're in the green. Bye. We should be safe now. Okay. Push! This looks like it could smash through that barrier. Amy, can you give me a hand? Sure. One, two, three! Ooh, so exciting. <laughs> Well, not exactly elegant, but it did the job. It's dark down there. When I said I wanted to meet the Beatles, I meant the band, not the Bucks. <laughs> or you can stay up here and meet the Daleks. But they're more heavy metal. Oh, a nice one. Okay, so the platform must be up ahead. We're going to have to get through that gate to get it. We need to open the platform gate somehow. Okay. You can pick up 
pick up some items and use them I'll just start glowing to use item inventory by clicking the middle mouse button move the mouse okay okay Be careful down here. You never know what you're going to find on the underground. Rats, dinosaurs, yetis. Yetis? The woman we saw must be around here somewhere. Don't move! Ah, there you are. Hello. Calm down, we're here to help you. How can I trust you? Do we look like Daleks? Us humans have to stick together. I'm the doctor, by the way. And I'm Amy. Sylvia. Tell me what happened. When did the Daleks get here? What do you mean? How can't you know? They overrun the Earth, the whole planet. We've sort of been away. <laughs> Promise you, Sylvia, we can help you. Just tell us, please. They came out of the sky, like, like they tore a hole in it. Legions of Daleks flying out of it. So many, they turned the sky dark. Wow, that looks familiar. Thousands and thousands of them, thousands. Exterminate! How did you survive? How did you survive? The Daleks defeated the army straight away, but the ordinary people fought for a while. You learn fast when you have to. You've done pretty well on your own, one woman army. And there are no other survivors. Us against the Daleks. They destroyed everything. Everyone. It's just me left. The last human being. That's what the Daleks said. Well, it was wrong about that, wasn't it? There's you two. The Daleks can't do this. They've never had the power to change time like this before. Change time? What are you talking about? Look, I'm barely <laughs> hanging on to my sanity as it is. Okay. Listen to me, Sylvia. This was not supposed to have happened. 1963 was followed by 1964, and a whole lot more years after that. I have to stop whatever the Daleks have done to make this happen. Look, it isn't safe to stay here. If you want to stay alive now, you have to keep on the move. Let me check ahead. These tunnels are dangerous. You know, what I don't get is everybody said the animation in, this, in the other game that I played was terrible. And you know what? The animation in the other game was a lot I think it this. just got that even was more bad, dangerous. But how dare they say that the... Sylvia is safe. Is the Daleks can't see her. But we're going to have to be very careful if we're going to get to her. Don't forget that Amy is following and she needs to be kept safe too. If you're behind an enemy, don't get too close so they will hear you. If you were detected, the static guards, all static guards will be alerted even though they won't leave their posts. Okay, so where are we going? Where did she go? That way? Found a card! Part man, part fish. These colonists of the planet Messaline have been at war with their former human allies for generations. We need to hide. Ah! Guess what? <laughs> That's not the way to go. <laughs> okay. Oops. Bye bye! Okay. That way? Okay, I don't have to get the card again. Okay, we're gonna wait for him to go. Where's he gonna go? We need to catch up with Sylvia. So then he goes around. Oh my tea! Thirsty. Crap. Okay. I might have made a mistake. Okay, so we need to follow him that way. I don't remember 
garlic's being stupid. Come on! We need to hide. Oh! I screwed up. Okay, so... <laughs> Oh, we all remember Winter sucks at being stealthy. <laughs> right? Okay, so we're gonna follow him. is the queen and ruler of Starship UK. She was she struck up a close relationship with the doctor and Amy and together they were able to free the star whale. I remember that episode and okay, Liz 10 is descended from other famous monarchs the doctor has known including the Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth. I remember that episode. Yay, look at this, we're here. Stop. The track is electrified. And we need to reroute the power somehow and fast. Okay, so you this is going to take some manual rewiring. Oh crap, it's a puzzle, isn't it? Rewire. Wires must be positioned to connect the two terminal terminals to the same color. Wires cannot cross. Move the mouse pointer over a color terminal and the pointer will turn to a small hand. Press and hold the left mouse button to drag out a wire. You must then reconnect connect the white terminal to another of a matching color to disconnect the wire, click on its endpoint and let go. I don't get it. have to go one way. And then this is going to have to go back. I thought I was doing really good here. That's not going to work either. plugged in there. Nope. Plug that in there. And ha ha! I figured this out. Okay. Ta-da! Hee <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha! I have brain cells. I sometimes use them. Now it's safe. 
We better get a move on before that Dalek spots us. Okay. Why didn't he look at there? World Fact London Underground. The London Underground was the first underground railway system in the world that when it opened in 1863 with a line that ran between Paddington and Farrington. The first trains used the line were steam trains, which meant the tunnels and platforms filled with smoke. It must have been very unpleasant. Several original stations are no longer in use. Eldridge Station, which was closed in 1994, is often seen in the location of films and TV. Good to know. Is there anything else? Okay, we're gonna go. Oh, you can use WASD to move around too. Sweet. That's better. Examine. Dynamite. Sylvia must be getting, setting up a booby trap. What are you doing? Hurry, Doctor. The exit is just there. Here? What's over here? There's nothing over here. Okay. Watch out, Amy. Up you go, Amy. I just need to set this trap. Hurry! Sylvia! Uh, exterminate! No! Doctor, run! Exterminate! No! Last human. And there goes Starlight. They killed her. We've got to get back to the TARDIS. There's like a Dalek like right behind him. The Daleks have changed the patrol. We need to try and sneak around past them. Yeah, cause sneak is something I do well. Okay, um. They move at all? How are we gonna get through? Crap. Okay, obviously we can't go that way. So by deduction, we have to go this way. I don't know. This way? Oh, there we go. Okay, this way. Crap. Okay, we want to go towards that car. Oh, we already did that. It's all right, Amy. You're going to be all right. I felt so weird. It's going to be all right, Amy. I promise you, if I can analyze the time and place that the Daleks altered the timeline. I don't get it. If humanity is destroyed in 1963, how am I still expression. here? The TARDIS protects you. Okay. But we have to she act quickly. Gotcha. What is it? The source of the Daleks' time meddling. It's Scaro. The planet of the Daleks. Okay. Coordinates set. We're going back to where it all began. Going to save the human race. Because that's how we roll. <laughs> okay. Yay, another loading screen! <laughs> we love loading screens! Let's do the loading screen dance. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. It's like a party here at my desk. Not really. not drawn. You know what? It's Doctor Who. I'm gonna shut up. I don't 
don't care. It's Doctor Who. It's better than no Doctor Who. <gasps> it's all right. Nobody home. And they've been busy rebuilding this place, too. Rebuilding? Kalan. City of the Daleks. The last time I saw it, it was in ruins and the Daleks had fled. But now Kalan is reborn. Yeah, well, I'm still not coming here for my holidays. Don't blame <laughs> you. It never stops raining, so I wouldn't go outside. Even with an umbrella, the atmosphere is 30% sulfuric acid. Ooh, no wonder they're so screwed up. Come on. We have to find the source of the Daleks' time manipulation and stop them. Whatever that takes. Whatever that takes. Okay, new objectives. Explore the building. Uh, let's see. Oh, come back here. I want to talk to you. Amy! I to talk to Let's keep looking around. There must be something that can help us. Oh, I already found something, but, you know, I'm just looking around the room to see if anything else. Like, this, this will help us. Nope, never mind. I was wrong. <sighs> oh, it's the head that we were already looking at. How oh, we know it. What do we always use? Where's my sonic screwdriver? Bath has it! Ah. Okay, the internal sensor is protected by the Dalek circuitry. Click on the sensor and drag it through the maze. Be careful to ensure that it does not touch the electrified walls. Release the mouse button any time to drop the sensor. That's the sensor. Oh! Oh! Sucks. You can't just like jerk this thing through it either. Beauty! Dear game creators, you are butts, all of you. I'm kidding. Thank you, Doctor Who. Happy. <laughs> I has Doctor Who. I shut up now. Stop japping! I'm trying to use my mouse. Ta -da! Success! The Dalek internal sensor has been successfully removed and is now in your inventory. Low security doors will now open automatically. Awesome sauce! <coughs> I don't feel right. Steady. Doctor! <gasps> sorry, Amy, I'm so sorry. What is happening to me? Time is catching up with you. What? When the Daleks destroyed humanity in 1963, you became a paradox. That's never stopped. You shouldn't exist, before. but you do because the TARDIS protected you. But that protection can only last for so long. That's why we have to find how the Daleks went back in time and put things right. For all of humanity, and to save you. But there'll be Daleks everywhere. It doesn't matter. I'll find a way. But first, I have to slow down what's happening to you. The Daleks have temporal technology. I can use that. Like we need to build a chronon blocker from Dalek spare parts. That will counter the effect of the paradox. We have to find a Dalekanium coil and a Contron crystal. Uh, like you're talking out. English? Uh, what? 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 Don't worry. You rest here and I'll find them and bring them back. I think this is where we're going to leave off today. And like if you guys like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. I will see get that out. And I will see you all next time on Doctor Who, not the Eternity Clock. Oh, Amy. City of the Daleks. Bye!